Uh, Mark Cavendish, the uh, British cyclist, is having to take indefinite leave from the sport due to the Epstein Barr virus. Uh, obviously, if you watch the Tour de France this summer, he really did struggle uh, to compete in a lot of the sprints in the early stages. He didn't complete uh, stage 11. He was outside the um, maximum time limit allowed. So he didn't even finish the Tour de France this year. He's been well off the pace uh, for the entire season. He was first diagnosed with the Epstein-Barr virus, which can cause glandular fever, amongst other other symptoms. But last year, he battled back from that. Uh, he felt he was fit and ready to go. And it's been discovered that he's got it again, and he's basically been riding with glandular fever for a few months. Uh, it, it, it's amazing that he managed to get to stage 11 of the Tour de France, basically with full-blown glandular fever and the Epstein-Barr virus. It's a very serious condition. There's a variety of symptoms that go with it. It's, well, I don't really understand the virus myself, but I know it's exceptionally serious. Glandular fever can be exceptionally serious. Um, he's having to take indefinite leave. He's 33 now, so he hasn't got much of a career. He's got a fair few years left, but not many years left in his career. So this is a very important moment. Hey, if he doesn't fully recover from this in the next couple of years, he, he could have to retire. Uh, he's definitely got to take some time off. Uh, medication alone cannot cure this virus. Diet and, and rest help. Um, and because he's had glandular fever, he's at risk of having glandular fever again. It's a very, it's a very serious condition. And it's a shame because he's one of Britain's greatest ever cyclists, uh, former world champion. He's got 30 stage wins in the Tour de France. He's only behind the great Eddie Merckx. He's got 35. Um, and it would have been nice to see him equal or better Merckx's record in, in stage wins, but that seems a long way off at the moment. Um, he's going to have, a, have to have a prolonged period um, of, of rest, a prolonged period uh, of recuperation and re re prolonged period of recovery from this. Uh, it's a very, very uh, serious condition, as I say. And it is a shame. Um, Cavendish is one of the, those, those those bright lights in the sport that has had a lot of negative headlines over recent the last decade or so in recent years. Uh, there's a lot of doping controversy and, and controversy about the use of TUEs. Cavendish has been one of those uh, cyclists who's, who's been a bright bright light uh, in the last decade, and it is a shame that you know he, he has to take leave from the sport for a while. Um, we shall see if he can come back. Uh, there's nothing to say he can't, but he does need a prolonged period of rest, and it is indefinite, so that's as long as it takes, um, and it could become permanent. We shall just have to see on that. But I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place your thoughts below. If you are a Mark Cavendish fan, do you want to see him back, or do you think it is the right time for him to retire if this illness takes longer than you anticipated to recover from? Um, so we'll leave that there. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.